Hey YouTube, so we stopped at uh, North Creek Campground. Uh, please check it out. Hey YouTube, so we were uh, exploring the forest when we were uh, staying at Walnut Creek and we ran across this campground. We wanted to drive through and look around. This is a North Creek Campground. It is an actual official national forest campground. Um, however, you cannot reserve the spots in here or I could not find a way to. Um, it looked like this is one of those you just show up and look for a spot and then let the ranger know that you want to stay there and then pay your money. Um, and they have like a like a pay station here, um, right here at the, at the gate with all the rules and stuff. So we did um, did a drive through and uh, when I looked on YouTube I could not find any videos that were of inequality on this campground. Maybe there are some but I just couldn't find them. Um, so I thought I would post this video to share it in case anybody wanted to see um, a recent uh, video of this. This is a primitive campground. What that the word primitive means is it means it does not have full hookups. It does not have like your your sewer hookup. You can't just uh, you know take endless showers um, in your in your trailer. It also typically, um, if it's primitive like this, does not have electricity, which means that hopefully you have solar power or batteries. Um, it also means that you know the water like you only have the water that you have in your camper, so you bring water ahead of time. This is typically typically an area that people would tent camp. However, you know, like you saw fifth wheel, um, if you have a small enough rig, you can bring it in here and, and you can camp. I think if I'm right, the price that I saw was like twenty dollars a night, so that's pretty reasonable. I mean, twenty dollars a night next to the traditional, like say, like fifty dollars a night for a full hookup campground. Um, however, once again, you know, you do have the constraints of not having all the benefits that you have um, at the full hookup campground, like we're at, where we, you know, where we have take showers like in our camper. We don't have to worry about the bathroom getting full or whatever. You know, we can use what is almost like endless amounts of water. Um, we can use what feels like you know endless amounts of electricity. There's a store nearby where we can get propane. This is just a different type of camping. Some people really, really, really like uh, national forest camping. Um, which is what this is and some people prefer the more like resort style camping now you can see how tight some of these turns are and how tight some of these campers or campers are in here this is where the like the 30 foot rule kind of com comes in where uh, if you really really like this style of camping you really want a camper that's like 30 feet long or less because it's just so tight in a lot of these uh, national park campgrounds i mean imagine trying to drive through here with like your your big dually and uh, like a 40 foot uh, you know fifth wheel behind you or something like it would just be kind of ridiculous and, and really stressful um, the king of these campgrounds um, from my understanding is truck campers um, people with like a big you know one ton truck or whatever dually um, with a camper on the back of the truck like in the bed or whatever that's kind of the king of these campgrounds um, and then if, if you're you can go a little bit bigger but not a lot bigger um, without running into problems. Like like right here, you see how there's a person that's just pulled over there on the side. Um, you'd have to just sit here and wait, probably like if you, if even if I had a trailer behind me, like um, it would just it would just be difficult. Um, but you can see there are like fifth wheels back here. So it's it's not like impossible to get back here um, with, with a camper. There's another fifth wheel that we can see. Actually, that's a travel trailer in front of us on the left. And uh, you just have to be very, very careful and very, very patient and uh, um, I guess really good at backing in and stuff like that um, and as you can see all these look like back in sites that I have not seen a pull through site yet um, so you know this is really for what I would kind of consider more like the professional camper because once again like you know your primitive camping you have to be on your a-game with the water management and on a game with the power management and, and uh, you know you get the lower price and everything um, but at the same time and you get the awesome nature and stuff um, but you know, it, it's it's for some people, and maybe it's not not for all the people. Um, hopefully, this helped out a lot uh, on uh, the video um, of showing you what the campground looks like. We have another campground, um, the Walnut Creek Campground, that we posted um, probably directly before this one. If you want to see the area, you can uh, maybe skip to the last half of that other video, and you can see all of the driving that we did in the area and all the different things. Um, we did kind of like waterfall hunting, and this was one of the waterfalls in the area that we ran across. But there was a whole bunch of different waterfalls and stuff in the area. And, everything. So please like and subscribe. Thank you and uh, enjoy uh, um, camping.